Hola, 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 people of Earth. You're back with a brand new video. My name is Trick the Titan here on YouTube, and I'm here for another part for Life is Strange Before the Storm. And this is part three, and we're gonna arrive at school. And Chloe just went off on David, and I feel completely bad about it. I feel like shit. Country well, yeah. music? Oh, she's dreaming about her dad. Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. This is about to be copyright. The midnight all again. <laughs> what a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Does she ever get tired of being angry? Sometimes this, it's like, I'm so tired of it. This isn't right. Yeah, that's not right. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Oh my god, the car accident. I'm dead. <laughs> oh god. Why do video games do this? Video games and movies, they look like my freaking emotions. I'm dead. Literally, I'm dead. William's dead. Chloe's dead. We're all dead. We're dead together. Bird needs a flat faster. I have a video rendering in the background, so I hope that's not an issue. Hey. It doesn't seem like it, though. Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. She didn't even take a shower or wash her hands. That's what the, that's what's. Thanks. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. I'm like, you need to come in here for a job application. Hello, Black Hell. <laughs> Black Hell. Time to see everybody we hate, like Nathan and Victoria, Brooke. I wonder if they're gonna have the same voice actor, so is everyone different? Cause if so, that's gonna suck. Cause Nathan had this like a distinct voice, and so did Victoria. They all had this very distinct voices that made you hate them. Isn't that her boyfriend? Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin well, maybe how they're not awesome dating. Maybe last their anniversary is for so, them being friends. I don't know. How about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Um, uh, maybe, I guess. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting it's in the back concert. row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's well, never totally really concert, what I was so thinking. Performance. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. He's like, I don't know, what the fuck is wrong with her? Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Hey, fuck you, bitch. 
Um, hey, I'm at, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Okay, on my way. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. A few months, that'll be David. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicapped parking. Badass. <laughs> Yeah, you know how I roll. So, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> no. But if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him so yourself, long. Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. Speaking of doing people favors... Ah, uh, yeah. Guess I've been hanging around Justin this morning. His odor must have latched onto me. Uh-huh. Glad to see all you high risks sticking together. High risks? Oh, shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. Huh. High risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. What does that mean? So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. Yeah, I can see that. Wait. You went to the mill last night? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a it's band, a actually. No <laughs> shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. Pisshead. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but. Hard. Misshead, huh? W would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, okay. Great. I, me, myself, I don't want to hear it, but Chloe can. Because there may be copyright and I don't got time for that. It sounds good. It sounds good enough. So... What did you think? Really good. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Mate, you make nice with the security, they let you do whatever. Ew, I remember her, she's annoying. What petition you want us to sign today, Miss Grant? Morning, Miss Grant. What do you think of this hypothesis? that you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Oh god, so fucking sarcastic, I can't do it. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate, as always. Ugh, I get so tired of Miss Grant. So, let's just look at it and we gotta go to the picnic tables later on. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey, to each their own. Uh, but fire's so pretty. Can we run? Oh yeah, we can run, thank God. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Say no to drugs, otters. Uh, winning while doping isn't winning at all. It's a quick trip to the deep end of failure. Yeah, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? 
That's some crazy shit right there. Hey, can we? Oh, smoke. It's lit. Oh, not cigarettes. I thought she's smoking weed. But say like weed is lit. Cigarettes, it's not lit. Okay. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups like sheep. And if you just <coughs> want to be alone, Sorry. you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted Yo, a photo that, of the two of us Victoria? together last night. Well, maybe that's not, I don't know. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Nah. Fuck that. Yeah, we're done. They just burnt, I'm sorry. Ew, she probably stinks. She probably smells like cigarettes, probably. Uh, not the kind of person I'll probably be around, to be quite honest. I like Chloe because we've gotten to know her, but I personally probably would not have liked her as a person. Who's this? Uh, Victoria. Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. We're gonna talk to her anyway. Oh, Carrie Price. <laughs> Carrie Price. It's Chloe. <laughs> oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. I fucking hate her. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook! <laughs> I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. No, really not. once you put it on so Instagram and Twitter, what's she then, into? Yeah. You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Sabotage her homework, walk away. Let's sabotage her homework. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, it's a thick sheet uranium, of paper. carbon, potassium, and uh, a uranium again. Fuck up her shit. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No Such an problem. asshole. I wish we could have asked her all the other questions. She, all the other stuff she talked to us about. Hey, where the fuck are you going? She just bumped into me? Eh. That's why your puh stinks. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Hey, price check. Gotten in any good trouble lately? Um, cloud of smoke weed. Rachel Amber first. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C+. Plus. Huh. Dude. You need to freshen like a mofo. 
So do you, Chloe. Are you saying I smell like weed? That's exactly what I'm saying. Word. Well, good looking out, Price. Want to hit? Hell yeah. Like, right here? Thanks. Chloe, you need it. I don't know why the hell you have to make you down. So, we had something else we could ask someone. Chloe, what's the latest? Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, no shit. He's like, uh, I'm totally fucked was up, like I don't know what you're saying. Math Central. My cousin met this hooker there. Whatever. And... It was cool, okay? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. All right. Guess She's I'll an see asshole. You in class. Whatever. It was cool, okay? You would Word. understand. I'm like, how you know? He's not gonna understand cool. Anyway, la 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 la. Is this Stella? Samantha? Who the hell is that? Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Why are you so fearful? I read that girl? last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? Um, it's sad. Uh, the story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. <laughs> people always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. Oh, God. Let's speak to her again, fucking weirdo. I really didn't mean anything. Samantha Myers, school wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. The perks of being a wallflower, no. No, she can't. Max is... Max is lit. Hey, you motherfucker. Evan, what are you doing? Ah, uh, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is he on today? Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning Goodbye. to you too, <laughs> Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Um. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. Okay, later, loser. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Anything to get out of class. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want Bitch. me to change my mind? Everybody just loves to insult us. No, no respect whatsoever. No. How seriously am I taking this right now? Mm. Happy to support such an important cause. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. Thanks so much for signing my petition. Smokeweed D. Bear? Only you can prevent ganja fires. I feel bad now, I feel like an asshole. Can we actually sign the real thing? I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Blackwell Academy, home of Tim. You're back. Never mind. Why do I keep talking to you? I've got shit to do. <laughs> I hate being so mean because I'm not really a mean person. 
and Max is really, I mean, Max was nice, and Chloe can be really mean. The fuck are you guys doing? Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. You know, DVDs Mikey, it's a students. seat for a reason. Don't sit on your knees. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. How do you know? Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? No one Blade Runner. Likes her. It's Director's so crazy. cut coming right up. It's me so crazy. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, is there a problem? Do you know Are you not Rachel trying to look at me in my face? Rachel Amber? Wait, You're wait. asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah. Oh. I don't have 50 Steph, hours you have right a crush now. on Rachel Amber. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Class? I mean, study homework. Um, um let's do it. I don't know. We can what do What the it. hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know, I'm good. All right, let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, <laughs> Durgaron, <laughs> the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. <laughs> the two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Went to my cash. Um, that's actually where I actually know we're talking about. stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him too. True story. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. Like, to your oh, left, shit. the I'm raiders' shooken. training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Oh god, I don't know. Um, Warlord's tent. Cause you kill the leader, you defeat the whole thing. It's tent time. Are you sure you want to skip the training ground and the prison camp? Okay, let me go back. You make okay. me question myself. Let me pick again. Where do you wish to go? Prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, 
and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face! Get out of there! The dragonkin <laughs> hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at him. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't cast <coughs> communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So right, this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Dragons are pussies. Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves it. and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. That was a mistake. The dragonkin growls, snapping fuck. at you and showing his teeth and claws. Hey, fuck them. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. No, no, please don't do that. Still, I cannot give key. Durgaron will eat me. I think he's close to breaking. I want to reach through the bars and grab the stupid key. You try, but he's incredibly agile. He dodges your clumsy attempt with ease. Then he laughs. This tabletop shit is hard. So we fail. Try playing Damn. solo. The dragonkin swallows the key, pointing at his stomach and then his own butt laughing at you then he i shove my axe through the cage right into his stomach then i twist it and then pull it out his guts and shit start falling everywhere <laughs> but i jam my hands inside his open stomach grabbing the key then in the final moments before he dies i hold the key up to his face and then i laugh i love it that was good. normally i'd say you failed the challenge Except that was so horrifically <coughs> amazing. You won. Thank yeah. you, Anna. Go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away. I think they're thinking of the shit on the top of their head. What's next? It's tent time. Wait, have you ever gotten a training camp? There's potential loot there. Uh Let's fucking go. I live for loot. Let me pick again. Where do you wish to go? I guess. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the this training. This is a long ass thing. I don't. This Sweet. is a long game. Upon it takes like, it's like a side ground, story. You are amazing. spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast. Urgle's acid blast. What? Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like it's warm really long. candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Um. Knee slam. I knee him. Right in the orc balls. Success. The orc clutches his groin, never to father children again. Ouch. Your turn again, Chloe. Okay. Let's end this. Fatal cleave. 
You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game! It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survives. What was the fucking Dang. point? Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Elamon nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? Leave the game like shit. <laughs> it's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak. Gripping a two-handed uh, sword that's easily it. six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. It's so cringe where they almost people gosh. are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. How does she know Deveron all this shit? laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Um, Brutal Punch. I can't even see it. Right Foot Rush. Um, let's go with that one. What's Wrathful Rush? It's like a shoulder slam, an angry, angry shoulder slam. Okay, I do that. You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgaron is caught off guard, and he fails to dodge. You slam your shoulder into him, knocking him back and doing some damage. Hell yeah. Next. Um... Oh, holy that shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground oh, in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Fuck. Um, legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. Fuck. I am so sorry. Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. <laughs> We've lost oh, this battle. Shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. Stop. Stop. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Um, jump in front. I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. This is intense on my fucking gosh. He charges, thrusting <laughs> madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength <laughs> draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his arm, swing for his head, swing for his head. I take one last swing at Durg. Dur Durface's head! You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing catching Durgaron on the side of his head, severing one horn, but you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. 
You die painfully. This shit is so mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgaron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess on your feet. I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. That Check was fun. It was drew. long as hell, though. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Yeah, that's look. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. So I think, I believe we just made some friends, Diggity. you guys. Check. Next stop, chemistry class. I believe we just made Enjoy. some good friends. Oh, I was still this bike when we got out of class. Best believe. Time for class, you guys. Is that freaking Nathan? What Stupid the hell? ass. What have you got here? Twitch? Don't <laughs> Twitch. call me that! True <laughs> North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. <coughs> oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Take it elsewhere. Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Listen, Shiffer Brains, you better back the fuck whoa, up. Whoa, whoa. You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? <gasps> uh oh. Wow. Dick wow. move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Chloe, do something. Don't just stand there watching. You're doing the same shit as me, bitch. <laughs> Let's step in. I don't the know. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. <coughs> I've got to put Drew down. Hopefully we succeed Black at off, this. Idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. <laughs> You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? Duh. You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> just pull his hair already. <laughs> did you just laugh? laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Hey. Go, Samantha. <laughs> that is lit. Samantha's like, you shut the fuck Guess up. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help from you? You're welcome. Bitch. Are you all right? <laughs> <coughs> what the hell was the security him? guard? People think just because of his family. Where's Kate Marsh? Everything okay here? No, where the fuck were you? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Samantha was like, hey, hey, hey. Samantha was like, you shut the fuck up. 
I love it. What do you want, Mom? I'm glad we talked to me, too. Dot, 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 dot. I know you're doing your best. Love you. Oh, Chloe, don't say love you, too. Anyways. Don't want to be late. Anti-drug poster. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Let's enter. Rachel, are you in a drama club oh, or something? Good. You're here. Well, you heard of my hand. I mean, everybody would think that we're fucking best friends. I'm like, oh my gosh, so Rachel, is she cool? Oh my gosh, she's best friends. I'm like, duh. Hmm, 40 minutes. Do I end the part here? I do or beseech you. Going? Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. We know them from what the first game. is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. The Juliet. But admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... I forgot his name. Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to Hayden, Hayden you're yeah. killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as she got a surreal flat as last night. <laughs> what the hell was that? Good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with. My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Like, the question hands is, <laughs> are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Mm, Miranda's an idiot. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she, 12? <laughs> Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, Mr. No. Keaton, I didn't appreciate that tone. Can you improv, fucking bring it down full uh, of freshmen now. a few notches, okay? I'll just be a minute. Okay, so... Why am I here again? I see oh, a room stick and I just think me? Hogwarts. I think it's in my bag over there. You yeah, were gonna take all the money you have in your uh, bag too. Yeah, <coughs> sure. It's almost five in the morning, you guys. Don't I always make okay. videos five in the morning? Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't like fall. Hey now, sharing is caring. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Um, we're gonna read, okay. A newcomer to um, Blackwell Academy, Rachel Amber, blew the, blew the doors off her audition with a heartbreaking reading of Blanche from Tennessee Williams, a streetcar named Desire. Other interests include athletics, um, Debate team, booster fundraising, local history, nature, Rachel hopes to one day grace the stages of Broadway with the silver screen of Hollywood. Wow, that's so sad. Because we know her fate. Nathan Prescott, um, a favorite son of the oldest and most influential family in Arcadia Bay. Nathan hopes this performance of the um, Tempest well, only further the legacy of the Prescott name at Blackwell Academy playing Caliban has been a real talent for the sophomore who enjoys sports photography and casual hangouts amongst many friends. <laughs> oh, and that was Diana. 
Okay, Diana, sophomore. Diana has performed in two other productions at Blackwell Academy since her freshman year. Diana does football, go Bigfoot, social media, and school dances. She hopes to be a member of the Vortex Club when she's a senior, What she does. Hayden Jones playing, oh, I don't care who's playing, Ferdinand. Um, this show marks the introduction of Hayden Jones to Blackwell Academy's drama club. He auditioned on a dare, and as it turns out, actually really digs acting a sophomore his other interests including sports, her balls, and taking long walks in the woods. <sighs> Juliet walks in. Juliet's primary interests include journalism. Well, who was it? Okay, that was um, Dana then. I don't remember who who we was just talking to with Hayden. It probably was um, um, Dana. I what I call it, Diana at first. It's Dana. <clears throat> Julia's primary interests include journalism, social a activism, but she's very excited to be debuting this spring in the role of Ariel, a, um, I'm skipping that word, a powerful spiritual spirit. Ugh, I'm fucking over. But once I start messing up a few times, I'm like, I'm over it. And I don't care about the director because he's not in the first game, so. Who's that, her pappy? Rachel looks so happy here. That's probably her dad. Her and her dad. Maybe her dad's dead just like Chloe's dad's. Dad is dead. There's Maybe that's Rachel's how they bond. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Who knows? Look at the broom. What is this, Hogwarts? I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the uh, the Tempest. Sweet collar, Pepe. Hello. Should be life is drama. Must be a hundred costumes in here. Okay. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Hell yeah. Uh, Rachel. Is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're just gonna bring it to her because why not? Chloe knows she wants to see Rachel naked, so. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Um. Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. Oh, God. <laughs> she was like, you didn't make my muff flowers. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Uh, firework was pretty good. Getting attacked was amazing. <laughs> Getting attacked was amazing. Um, firework was pretty good. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? That was deep. Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class? You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. It's lit. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey. And, you know, it's perfect timing because I'm about to end this part, you guys, as soon as it comes back. So, thank you all for watching so much. This was lit. It was fun. You got to see the campus. This is part um, three. We, we never went to class. It's not funny. We told our chemistry teacher, oh, you're going to, we don't know. You're going to see us there. And we don't go to class. So, we actually decided to skip class with Rachel Amber and 
I don't know if the next part is going to be the last part, but part four will be coming up shortly. And I might as well just keep on playing since I'm already into it, you know. But yeah, please like, favorite, subscribe, comment down below, and share this video. You guys, it's been Liddy. Thanks for watching. Bye.